Reefers, I'm Daniel, and this is the new refractometer that I just got from BRS. I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate it. Um, I had to order a new one in because my old refractometer just got water damage, it corroded, um, the adjustment screw is completely rusted, and this is so rusted that I went to close it and it snapped off, and you can see the rust on it. So, it's about time I got a new one, and that one's out. And this is the kit that I got. It comes with your calibration fluid, which is 35 uh, parts per thousand. So when you're calibrating it, you want to calibrate it to your salt water and not zero. Some people may use RODI water and think that's a good idea, but it's better off to calibrate it at a specific gravity that's more closely to the water you're using and not <clears throat> RODI water. So let's get right into it. This is um, a silica packet, which is good for keeping it from corroding. It absorbs moisture. Um, they give you a little screwdriver. This is for your water sample. Some people like to dip it in the water. Other people like to drip it on top. So Now what you can do is you can take your fluid And what you want to do is just give it a little drip down there and then just close it. And then you're ready to go. Now when we calibrate, they put a protective cover over the screw because it helps keep water out, so that's a good thing. You want to take that out, grab your screw, screwdriver, and you want to put it in the top. Now when you look through it, you should see um, a scale on a specific gravity and you want to adjust this till it reaches the 35 parts per thousand. So once you do that correctly, then when you clean it off, which is always a good thing to do, you always want to clean, clean off your um, refractometer when you're done, is to prevent um, corrosion. But when you're done cleaning off, plus also it not only does it prevent corrosion and make it last longer, but it will give you a better reading for your um, next sample. So I'm going to get some tank water. And I'm going to put some tank water on top of there and then close it and see how it relates to the specific gravity of the sample that I just set it at. So I'm going to look through it again. And my water is slightly a little less salty than it was before. Um, not because it's changed, but just because the refractometer, now that I've calibrated a new one, it has a little different reading. So. It's not dangerously off. Instead of my salinity being 1.025, it's 1.024. So it's a little bit lower with the new one than the old one. But it's always good to check them out. It's always good to calibrate your equipment. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, we're always here to help. It can be confusing. It took me a while. I just had to research. I always like to know what everything means. Um, and, you know, different salt water around the world, different places have different salinity different fish, the deeper in the ocean. So depending on what you're keeping, acros, softies, you may want a little higher salinity, a little lower salinity. It's better for fish with a lower salinity and sometimes a little colder temperature because they don't spread diseases quickly. They don't eat as much, they're not as aggressive. Um, they're easier to ship. There's so many different reasons. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.